learning Chinese language. Introduction of Chinese language. And the second lecture, that was about opinion, which we have discussed earlier. Today our third lecture, that is about the Shang Biao. As we know that third lecture, that is about the tones, or we call in Chinese language, Shang Biao. As we have discussed in the first lecture, as well as in the second lecture, about the opinion and the little bit introduction of the tones. Those who have not gone through first and second lecture, they must go firstly towards the first and second lecture, then watch this video. As we have discussed earlier, that in 1958 a phonologist submitted a bill by the name of Pinyin in the Assembly of China, which was approved by the government of China, which contains uh, two things, such as number one, that is Latin alphabets, and number two, over here, we have four tones, four tone marks are there, such as, number one, that is straight, which you can see from here, and number second, that is from down to up, and the third tone from down and up, and four tone is from up to down. Number one is here, you can see, M-A, we have five similar words with different tones and the last one is with neutral tone and the meaning gets changed as the tones are marked differently. Number one tone, that is in front of you which is straight, Ma, okay. you can see from here, that is there, Ma, Ma, which means mother and the second tone that is going up from down to out going up where there the meaning gets changed second tone ma ma which means number and the third tone first of all that is down then up which means force ma ma and number four tone that is about from up to down, like the things get filled up, such as ma, ma, from up to down. And the fifth tone, that is neutral tone, which you can see from here, that is the fifth tone, that is light, sound is light. Ma, ma, that means a question mark in the Chinese language. These are four basic tones which are really essential for learning the Chinese language, especially adding with pinyin and in order to pronounce it very well. Keep it one thing in your mind. The tones, the shangdao will be marked on vowels, not on consonants. That will be marked just and just on the vowels which we call them finals. Chinese in the grammar of the Chinese they are known as the finals where there the tones will be marked on the pinyin on the vowel of the that is from here here we can go that Moving on, we can see from here that in the next we have these are four basic. There are four basic tones in Chinese language, respectively called first tone, second tone, third tone, fourth tone. They make different in they make difference in meaning. As we have discussed earlier, that the totally gets changed in the pronunciation as well as in the meaning, such as ma, 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 ma. Here we have some examples. Uh, read the syllables which we have. Let's see. From here you can understand that what's going on. Here we have practice session which we can go from here. You can note, note down from here with the practice session that what they are thinking about. This is the thing. Which we have here, these are the some practice 
station. A is there with different marks. Uh, uh, uh. here in this lecture once again keep it in your mind that the tones will be marked just and just on the vowels which are required to be marked in order to have different meanings and different pronunciations which is the basic element which is the basic grammar part or the part of the opinion which is essential because as we discussed earlier that the opinion contains two things first latin alphabet number second tones for watching for Are four basic tones, and the fifth one is considered has neutral tone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope so, inshallah, we will see in the next lecture.